Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, this time we're looking at Gan Gan, uh, which is the Japanese name for Aggressors of Dark Combat, um, which just happens to marry up with the acronym ADK. Um, so it's no surprise, I guess. Um, it's uh, one of the white rental carts, this. That's what I believe they were used for back in the day. Um, the white uh, case and the SNK, SNK G um, was um, something to do with their rental sort of arm um, with the company. Um, don't know much about that, if you know more about it, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to know where you could rent these from, what sort of prices they were to rent. Um, on the subject, actually, the, car, the, the value of these carts and things, I'm always interested because there's very little information published, but my understanding is, you know, the average price seems to be about £200 or something back then for a, a, an EO Geo car. But did that vary? You know, did it vary on the game? Um, how much was it exactly? You know, you, I, I'd love to just find a bit of information about exactly how much these carts were, and you know, um, rental side, uh, you know, interests me as well. Sorry, my cast taking an interest here um, in this video. Um, this came from Japan. I got this from Japan. Well, hence why it says Gangan. Gan, it's got the Japanese uh, thing on there. It's quite hard to come by. Um, I'll just carefully open this thing if I can without trying to damage the bag too much. So here we go, this is the stuff I got with this. I got the um, mini marquee there. Not sure if that's a repro or what. Um, it looks like it could be. It still looks good, it's good quality, I guess. So I'll keep that. Um, and then you've got this like leaflet sort of instruction flyer thing here. Um, it's all in Japanese, showing you some of the moves, you know, weapons and things, you know, and showing you which buttons to press and stuff and some of the different moves you can carry out there. Oh, and it's also come with one of these as well that you stick on your cabinets um, that shows you the different characters and all the special moves of the different characters that's pretty cool so I'll have a look at that actually uh, there's probably some of the moves there that I'm not familiar with um, so I'll shift that out of the way and I think the final thing it came with was the dip switch and it's a dip ship then I said that one in my previous videos dip switch sheet I think um, yeah it's all in Japanese unfortunately but uh, yeah still that's cool keep that with it um, I'll just take the car apart you can have a quick look inside so I've got the screws out there now, so I'll just very carefully get these boards out in such a way that I don't damage the label. It's always nice to go inside them anyway, I mean I have been in this previously um, in order to clean the uh, board edges up and stuff. Um, but as you can see, yeah, it's original, you've got original uh, the Toshiba mask ROMs and things you would expect to see on these with the typical um, SNK codes, uh, 074, V2, 074, V1, 074, P1. Um, so this one's using a prog top board, uh, it's quite a popular board, you could always make one of these yourself, you've got like a puzzle bobble boo that's using a prog top, um, you could probably easily convert it into this game, so let's have a look at the graphic board, so we've got a lot of graphic chips there, 8 of the C chips, um, again all originals to Shiba Mask ROMs, nothing really exciting about this, nothing new really, it's a standard uh, Another standard, you know, sort of Char 25. Oh, I've not got one of those before, actually, I've not seen one. Char 256B, so subtly different from the Char 256. I'm not sure exactly how. Um, yeah, all your jumpers and stuff up here. Um, your PCM chip, S1, M1, Neo ZMC. So, yeah, nothing particularly exciting, so I'll just reassemble that um, and we'll have a play of it. So, here we go. Sorry about the excessive uh, light glare on the screen there. It might get a little bit better. It's just like it's really weird. It's like it's raining and cloudy, out, cloudy outside today, but the sun's just started to shine through, and it's uh, yeah, I annoy this video. But anyway, here we go. Um, yeah, so as I've mentioned, ADK. It's interesting how it comes up saying Gan Gan. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes up saying aggressors of dark combat, let's just say. I'm running this in US, um, sorry, I think it's in European actually. European mode at the moment. Yeah, it does say ADK, aggressors of dark combat. Um, it's just really weird, sort of two title screens just got on. Um, we'll just let that demo just run for a sec. Uh, I'll put a credit in. I like the big sprites, it's, uh, you know, for me it's sort of reminiscent of uh, the 
art of fighting games in terms of the size of the characters, they're quite large. Um, so we'll go with easy. I haven't played this much, so don't expect uh, yeah, great gameplay here. I can't even really remember many of the moves. It's like soft punch, hard, hard punch, a bit like the way the World Heroes works, I think. It might not be, actually. No, they're separate buttons, isn't it? Yeah, so you can move toward, obviously towards and away from the end, like you can in most of the fighting games for the Neo Geo. But you can also move up and down, um, sort of akin with like, I don't know, Streets of Rage, that sort of thing. You, know, you can move up and down into the foreground or background. Now the grabbing thing is the tricky bit really. Um, when you grab, when an opponent grabs you or you grab them, you've got to wait for this little icon to appear and uh, the split second it appears above your head, you then have to press um, the right button, I think it's a camera, it's A or B. Um, should we go with, let's go with that guy. It's a nice refreshing change though from the sort of standard fighting genre that you get on the Neo Geo, which is what attracts a bit of this game. Um, it is pretty cool. Attack. Great sound animation and stuff on it. And, uh, you can see what I mean, you can move up and down like that. It's just, you know, you can't do that normally in these fires. Uh, so if you've got a punch, pick. Yeah, it is, as I said it was, works like the World Heroes. If you just tap the button, you get a quick punch, you hold it down, you get a firm, you know, hard punch, a seventh kick. C is your jump, which is, you know, weird. You're probably not used to that, but you don't really used to have a jump, usually it's up. So it's quite cool. So let's go back over here if we can, because I've just seen a Molotov. Let's see. Yeah, you press down and punch to pick it up. And then you can obviously lock that at your opponent. I failed to do so, so let's just try and get him. There you go. <laughs> when that crazy bar lights up, I think you can sort of do some serious damage if you, you know, if you play it right, you're in the right place. So you can tap sideways there to run at them. He's not grabbing me yet, actually. Pick up weapons and things like that, that's quite cool. It's just a nice change, you know, uh, from your typical fighter. Not doing too bad here. Let's see if I can grab him. I can't remember if it's pressing A and B at the same time. It may well be when you're close enough and you might press A and B to grab. Could be wrong. Alright, oh, okay, yeah, so you only got one round, I forgot about that. So on to the next character. This guy can be quite hard. I think you can kick them when they're down as well. I'll try that in a minute if I knock him down again. It might happen to me actually if I get knocked down. See that little ching? You have to press the button at exactly the time where the ching happens. All that happens. It's like I say, very hard to do that. It seriously is. I guess when you've done it a fair bit, you can probably get used to it and know when the timing, you get the timing just right. Anyway, you get the general uh, feel of it. It's a uh, pretty cool game. Um, not perhaps not quite as cool. Some people, you know, uh, 
I understand that it's a bit quirky and stuff, but I quite like these quirky games. Uh, just trying to the character and just go for that guy. The size of that sprite is giant. I guess each of the characters, you know, play completely differently. Um, this guy seems quite slow, but he's got quite a long reach and stuff. Basketball actually is very, very hard. You know, the times I've played it, I can beat a lot of the other characters. But it's one of the basketball. Always, uh, kills me, beats me. Come on, you little shit. Sure you can. Then block, then you've got a chance at hitting him. It really is that simple. I'm just not playing it properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.